Everyone settle down, take a seat. <laughs> okay, well, I hope you have enjoyed the reunion. We all worked very hard to make this day special, but I will not be planning the next one. <laughs> I'm tired as fuck. Shit, sorry, Principal <laughs> Um Anyways, as you know, not every alum was able to be here tonight. We wanted to honor those who passed by inviting those who knew them closely to speak about them. Amari Suarez has volunteered to speak about Ismael. It must have been quite intimidating speaking in front of all those people. I had to. That's very brave. But it also meant coming out. Nah. Nah, it was more like letting everyone know how easy he was to love. I don't know if any of you are surprised that I'm standing here. I sure am. Hello, class of 2011. <laughs> wow, I'm, I'm bad at this. <laughs> you know, funny enough, Ismail would have given a badass speech about himself. Yeah, he loved to make fun of me for being terrified to drive. He would say, how you gonna live in LA and all they do is drive? Every Saturday morning, there he was with his mother's car ready to teach me. Driving seemed a lot less scary with him there. A lot of things did. I guess what I'm trying to say is that he was my first love. And I know he would have wanted me to acknowledge him publicly and without hesitation. He was my first love but I lied I said I did not know him but really I was afraid that he knew me too well and if I'm being honest I miss him a lot you know I, I did hear from him once three years ago hello Yeah, who is this? What? You don't recognize my voice? I... Yo, I think you have the wrong number. He lived a life without regret and took a punch every time. And Doña Yolanda, your son was unlike anyone I've ever met and... And we failed him. I failed him. And I'm sorry.